And it reminds me of something that you have wrote earlier, which was um, on, a, on your blog, actually, and I'll just quote you now. You've said, whether you realize it or not, you are constantly trying to define yourself, your resume, your portfolio, your skill set, your tribal allegiance, all will become moment prisons if you allow them to. Can you instead see these things as part of sequences, as unfolding stories of you? Tell us about that. What is a moment prison and how does that relate back to what we were just talking about? Oh, well, thank you for asking. Uh, by the way, you're one of the most wonderful researchers uh, when it comes to uh, being interviewed that I've ever met. Uh, you, you really, you've dug some nice nuggets out that I've forgotten about. So thanks for that. <laughs> but okay, moment prisons. Uh, what I was writing about in that article, which is a medium, is uh, you can Google moment prisons, and it's like the only use of that phrase. I find it very frustrating being the veteran of battle after battle after battle between, let's say, the information architects and the, the, the frustrated young Turks of interaction design that split off from them about 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I guess there's no avoiding it. You are going to have these splits. And, and like I said, that's really interesting stuff ends up happening. But I feel like we get so wrapped up in the definitions. And let's say, or the terminology, mm -hmm. let's say the term information architecture was really valuable at one point. And you know, it pulled together in our book actually help people of all kinds of backgrounds and from different professions and really these different silos who all suffered from information problems and well, they, there's too much they didn't know how to manage it they didn't know how to organize it they didn't know how to make it findable and until that moment they didn't have a common vocabulary or framework or concepts or term information architecture in this case to describe it and voila suddenly there was that and people could have conversations and that's half the battle that's that Rosetta Stone I was talking about. Yeah. Great. And then suddenly, information architecture didn't seem relevant anymore. And we you know, wring our hands. Well, what happened to IA? And we don't use, see that as a job title any longer. And blah, 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 blah. I'm tired of that conversation. I have been for some time. Because we become so invested in these terms and these definitions that it becomes a millstone around our collective necks. And suddenly we're fighting about this stuff when we should really be exploring together, well, how can we build an even better Rosetta Stone? How can we grow our knowledge together? Instead, we split into these ridiculous tribes, which I guess there's just no way around it, but we shouldn't. Then the new tribe is really interesting for a moment in time. <laughs> And it comes up with its own great idea, which then, after a short amount of time, becomes a prison. And that's what I mean by moment prison. So um, I, I see metaphors as moment prisons. We get caught in metaphors that um, were great for a moment and then become confining. I see definitions of, of professions that just can't keep up to date with the swirl of change that we face in this world. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's better ways to do it. You want to understand a field like interaction design. Don't define it with a dry, ridiculous uh, 20 words or so. Do something like look at a program for the interaction conference. And then better yet, look at it from year to year to year, which you can do pretty mm -hmm. easily. Print those pages, those program pages off. Take a, those are each snapshots of something that's constantly moving. They are moments. And if you look at them over sequence, you look at the conference program for the last year and the year before that, and the year before that, you will see change. And that mm. gets you out of those prisons. That creates the connective tissue. I guess what I'm really saying is I think we ignore how important time is. Time is a raw material of the designer's hands if only he or she will allow it and see it. And we stuck, get so stuck in that particular snapshot of the moment and we just totally miss out on how everything we work with is constantly changing in our designs and really our minds don't keep up with it because we are so locked in these prisons. Mm. 